Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel and uh, today is going to be the 300 subscriber special um, Thank you guys so much for getting me to 300 subscribers. I was not expecting me to hit this number this soon Today's 300 subscriber special is just going to be a pretty much complete room tour of all of the ant colonies that I currently own And because of that this video is a little bit long each colony having at least 30 seconds of uh, screen time now there are going to be two uh, kind of parts of this. You have these colonies here, which are the main colonies, in my opinion. You have the, you know, all of the, bi the big colonies. <laughs> you know, just all, all the ones that are on that shelf. And then you have all of these here. These are the smaller test tube colonies and test tube queens. We won't be going into all of those queens, no way. Only the ones that I'm planning on keeping long term. First up are these Formica Fusci group, which I believe are Formica substricia. This colony has been doing great. I don't know if you guys have actually seen this colony yet or not, but I'm pretty sure you have. Since the last time that you've seen them, they have gotten a lot of pupae. So, their colony is going to explode very soon. They're probably going to get around about 10 workers once all of this pupae ends up hatching. And by then, I'm probably going to end up moving them into a mini hearth or some smaller nest. I can't really see if there's any eggs here, but I'm sure that the queen has laid tons of eggs as well. But right now, all you can really see is the larvae, or sorry, pupae. The queen is also eating honey there, uh, and you know, she seems to be enjoying it. Anyways, on to the next colony. These little guys are my Laceous New Niger colony. You can see a few workers here just drinking some honey off of their uh, test tube here alongside there's a mealworm. It's a full mealworm, but I'll eventually, you know get rid of it, you know, ch chop it up in smaller pieces. Uh, there was the queen right there. She has quite a few workers, um, obviously not a dick since she just got them, but she also has a pretty decent sized brood pile. Now you can't see it in this shot. All you can really see is a few pupae, but that's because the eggs are actually more inside of the cotton because that's what the species likes to do for some reason. You may have also noticed that there is a huge piece of mealworm there, but I do end up breaking it in half so they can actually end up accessing all the meats inside of it. Here is the second Neo Niger colony. Uh, you can see that she actually just got her first few workers and you can see more are actually going to be on their way. She has a, quite a few pupae and I'm really excited to see exactly how she does. She also has more larvae, which means that that was probably another batch that she laid uh, after she laid this first batch. So hopefully she ends up getting her second generation way faster than the other queen. Even though she does in fact only have a single worker. And here are my pride and joy. This is my Formica Montana colony. They are absolutely beautiful ants. I cannot get over them, like, at all. Um, this colony has been growing extremely fast and they are constantly hungry. The, they are always eating. They just keep on laying eggs. It is just, I cannot emphasize how happy I am that this colony is doing good. As you can see, they have quite a few larvae and in fact one pupae. Uh, they probably do have some more eggs, but I do not get those in shot either. And this is one of my Lacey's Brevicornis colonies. Uh, this colony only has one or two workers. Um, they literally just got the workers not even a few days ago, so that will definitely be, you know, changing very soon. Although this queen group is not the only one that I have, I have another queen group which we will get to seeing in a little bit. Uh, you can see that there is quite a bit brood in this one, uh, both eggs, larvae, pretty much every stage of brood. Alright, since this Laces Brevicornis colony was extremely boring to learn about, um, oh wait, there's a second worker, huh, didn't see that. Uh, here is the more exciting one. This is the colony that has way more than just two workers. This colony has probably around about 10 or so Menedicts, and uh, is doing overall way better than the other one. Although it is extremely hard to record these girls because they decided to put cotton up against the uh, wall of the test tube, which means that you can't really see all of the workers. You can see the size difference between the queens and the workers is huge. Uh, the nanetics are so, so tiny. It is kind of cute, to be honest, just how tiny they are compared to the queens and how they just sort of hide up against the queens and just take care of them so well. 
It is really awesome to see. Once more generations come around, the workers do get a little bit bigger, but not by much. Uh, this is vertical, but here is a bunch of other different Formica colonies that I have. These are all within that little box. Uh, you can see that there is quite a few. Uh, I tried to get some good footage, can't exactly do that. You see some of them have eggs, some of them don't. I really didn't want to individually record all these because otherwise the video would be way, way longer and it wouldn't be as interesting because, well, who wants to see like five different Formica colonies, all of pretty much the same species? So I did both you and me a favor and I just did this little bit here where you can just see all of the colonies sort of lined up there and, you know, that's it. <laughs> Now comes the interesting stuff. Here is my Camponatus consabrinus. Now I won't really touch much onto these guys because I already ended up talking about these guys in a recent video. Um, still doing great, have beautiful, beautiful colors. I uh, can't get over this colony at all, uh, just how well they're doing. But you can all just hear that on the update video that I did of them recently, not too long ago. And here is one of my favorite colonies in the room. These are my Tetramorium bicarinatum. Now, a little interesting story involving these guys. Uh, after moving them into their new nest, they ended up having an escape. About, I don't know, maybe 10 queens ended up leaving the nest and actually moving into my vivarium, where I then had to catch those by digging up my vivarium. Uh, I did end up getting the majority of the escapees, but there are still quite a few queens and quite a few workers stuck in the vivarium. But that doesn't really bother me because now they just live there and I have pretty much a second colony just going to be living inside of the vivarium. Now although this is annoying, I really do not want to, you know, stress about it because either way this colony is going to do great. Sure the loss of a few hundred workers is annoying, but I know that they're actually going to end up recovering just fine and they're probably going to grow bigger within the next few months. As you can see, they have a bunch of worker pupae and a late pupae, so I'm pretty sure they'll be okay. And also they have quite a few eggs that you can't really see on camera because they are all the way in the condensated areas. Now on to another colony that shrunk. This is the Lyomotopum apiculatum. This is all what they have now. Um, this is mainly because they ended up having two massive escapes that ended up making them lose tons of workers, including a die-off. So now they pretty much just look like this. Honestly, I don't know if you guys are going to end up seeing this colony anymore uh, besides from on this video because I really got to grow them up and they could die before the time that I end up posting another video on them. Uh, but I'm sure I can end up recovering these guys. It's not really that big of a lost cause because of how many workers they have and, you know, they still have a pretty healthy brood pile. And here are another favorite in the room. Here are my Monomoria Minimum. Uh, as you can see, absolutely going insane. This colony has grown so much since the last update video, it is honestly getting overwhelming. They probably have around about 10 to 20,000 workers and around about 100 to 150 queens. I feed these guys so much food and it's really annoying because I actually have to use bottle caps, fill it up with mealworms, and then drop it in because if I leave that lid up open enough, like hundreds will start to escape. You can see that their egg pile is doing great. It's literally an egg wall at this point. You can see that the workers literally carpet the floor and they also carpet, you know, the sidings. It's it's awesome, okay? There's no other way just to put it. It is absolutely awesome how big this colony has gotten. When I first got them, they only had about 5,000 workers, and now they just have even more than that. It's just... I don't know. It, it's really something. From starting off with 63 queens, 5,000 workers, to 100 to 150 queens, and 20, 000, or 10 to 20,000 workers, it's, it's just awesome to see a colony grow from that to just this. They do still have quite a few males, but these males are more than likely going to die off since there is absolutely zero queens that they can mate with at the moment. It's getting more and more difficult to actually record inside of this setup be just because of how many workers there are. You can see even on the ground there, as I said, it is absolutely carpeted with workers. 
I feel like eventually I will have to, you know, expand onto the setup, but I really don't want to. And last but not least, there are my Camponatus novoborcensis. An absolutely beautiful ant species that I have had an absolute blast with. I've known about these ants and I've even kept these ants for the past few years, but I never really thought about growing out a large colony. And now I've finally done it, it is just great. And also, for the first time, I can actually see the queen, you know, and actually record it. That is the queen that you are looking at right there. I'll put an arrow to it right about now. Um, yeah, there's really not much to say about this colony because I just had an update video on them. So I guess I'll just end up using this as a way to just do the outro, I guess. So that is the end of this video. I just want to say thank you so much for getting me to 300 subscribers. I never really imagined that, you know, I'd end up making it this far with YouTube. I'll keep on doing this for as long as I can you know, I can. I really enjoy making YouTube. It's pretty much became a secondary hobby to ant keeping and all my other hobbies. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Thank you and goodbye.